Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today's video is shot with our old camera because the other camera almost killed me. I hated the quality. Today I'm gonna work on a couple of other, we have so many cameras, like DSLR, good quality cameras. I just don't know how to work them that good, but I'm gonna work on that. Anyway, welcome to today's video. We got some crazy stuff happening. Kaylee's coming over and we are gonna shoot videos. Gabby's like, I'm gonna rest the day away. Until Kaylee comes. Until Kaylee oh, comes. And then you're gonna scream. Then they're gonna scream the day away because that's what happens. But look at, like owner, like dog. This is what they do. No, oh, no, Macy's laying here, but I kicked her off. Oh, you're such a mean owner. You're such a tough cookie. You can go here and find Vivian. Like owner, like dog. <laughs> Cookie's like, I hate this game. Where are all the dogs? <laughs> Cookie. Oh, she looks. She looks scared. She's like, help me! I'm being held hostage! And then there's Ruby. And then there's Toby. He goes in there because he that's his home. He stays in there all day. He can't climb up on the couch and he gets frustrated so he stays in his bed and then when the girls come down they go and eat together. But that's his happy place. That's his safe place. We leave the door open. He can come and go as he pleases, but he does not please. All right, so Sam and I just got grain. We got grain for our barn and for the new barn where the boys are going because we're gonna be doing everything so differently now that they're moving. I'm like, I can't even believe it. But anyway, I was reading comments. Yesterday I went off on a big rant about how we have to live our own life and we're not gonna be any, any different. And I just wanted to tell you two things. One, I used to follow a channel and I felt really close to them. I felt like I knew everything about them and I loved them no matter who they were. I felt like I was a part of their family. And then the hate got to them and their channel changed so drastically. They stopped posting every day. They changed what they showed and I don't feel connected to them anymore. And it was the biggest loss for me and I never want that to happen. And that is why I hold on so tightly to being yourself and to staying ourselves but i wanted to read you guys a comment that i got today something that that i uh, really touched my heart it was from a girl i don't want to say her name because i don't know if she's going to get hate for this and that is not my intention but she said for me and your channel it's not that you make mistakes because you're right i really liked your message in today's vlog everyone makes mistakes and that's okay always be real and you but for me and it's not your guys' fault at all I think it's just some stuff I need to work on. It's that you guys have the gift of wealth. We don't have the gift of wealth. Most people do not have the money to do all the things that you get to do. You guys get to buy five or more horses, each for a good amount of money. I have one horse that we bought for $800, plus the fact that he wasn't perfect for me, so we are making so many more mistakes, and it hurts me when we don't do things right. For me, I have to feel accomplished after riding. So if I don't do something right at the, but the lesson ended, I will do it after the lesson. Also, the fact that you guys get to have a farm and be with your horses all the time. I want to ride every day, but we just don't have the time. So yeah, I just wanted to put that out there. It's okay if nobody sees this. And I'm really sorry if this comment sounds hateful. I actually do really enjoy and support you guys. And I love that girl. I love that girl for so many reasons. I love it. I love her for the fact that she was so honest and so real and it's true that has nothing to do with us and that is a big problem a lot of people feel the same way but that is not our problem it's not our problem like she said we can only do what we can do but I don't set out there to make people jealous I don't set out there to throw it in other people's faces that what we have I want to share our journey you guys that is it I know this girl was not trying to say that at all I know it but I get it too, I get it. I get why she feels like that. I mean, there was a time my kids probably would have felt like that if they didn't have what they have now. I want you to know that when we are not rich, we work really, really hard. We've never, ever take a day off, ever. Like Sam, when's the last time we had a day off? Mostly, I love my job and I don't take days off and I love that I don't take days off. It's, it fills my heart to make these videos, these memories of my family and I love that. But know that we do work hard. I don't take it for granted what we have, but more than anything, I wish for you, I wish for everybody to have the opportunity to have what you want. And I can, all I can say is just have faith, believe, dream it, believe it, 
achieve it because you can do anything. And the other thing that I wanted to say is about your $800 horse. $800 horses have the ability to change the world. And I know you might feel frustrated and you might not feel like he's exactly what you need, kind of like Gabby, but I have to tell you, Gabby, it took us a long time to get Gabby into the mindset that she would get another horse. Storm might be the slowest horse in the on the world, but she loves him, and if it came down to it and nobody ever was gonna buy her another horse, she would just keep him and love him. She cried. When I used to tell her, Gabby, you need a new horse, she would plug her ears and cry every single time, and I had to cut it out of the videos. Every time, month after month after month, day after day, she would cry. Nobody could talk about it. She would lose her mind because her love was for Storm, who doesn't have the ability to do any of the things that she wants to do, you guys. Love your horse. Love your $800 horse. Go over there. When you see that horse, believe that he is the best horse on the world, in the world. Believe it and you will start to act like it and he will start to respond to you and he will start to realize that you believe in him. Just believe. Love what you have. Just love what you have, you guys. Don't don't always be looking for the next thing. I don't know. It's hard to explain, but I just wanted to say that stuff. And if anybody is there and they want to talk and I mean, I get it. I get all the things that she's feeling and I feel so proud that she said that stuff. I did not think that that was hateful in any way, shape or form. It had a huge effect on me and I pray for you. I wish I could help you. I wish I could help you all. But just know that us sharing our journey is not to make anybody feel bad. I got my ice cap. I got my comments. Sam's gonna run into Home Depot and get what we need for our water in our barn. Cause yeah, now that he's at work all the time, it's hard to get everything done. But um, so he's gonna do that. I'm gonna stay here with you guys. I'm super comfy and finish my comments. I, I love talking to you guys through the comments a lot. Now we're at Walmart and uh, Gabby Kelly is at our house with the girls and they sent me their grocery list <laughs> at Walmart. They want smiley fries, chicken nuggets, and Pringles. So I'm just finishing up last minute Christmas stuff and I try and buy everything equal so all my grandkids are getting three presents each and well one of them's getting four but I can't help it. And anyway I'm stuck on my last present for Jack. I think I'm gonna buy him like this is a silly plate. Uh, it sticks to the it sticks to the high chair so that he can't spill it. I think that would be good. And then I'm going to get him some snack cups. My kids use these like crazy. And some little travel cups that uh, Jesse can pack his snacks in. And then some snacks. Because those are all things that he's like going to need, but he doesn't have yet. But holy heck, stop the presses. Look at this. You put this over any cup, and it turns any cup into a straw. Like that's cool. Lastly, I'm getting baggies to put our grain in. Okay, so we've been out shopping this whole entire morning. The girls are still waiting for their food, but uh, we still have to go to the tech store. I have to get shavings for the new barn, so because we're gonna be responsible for um, mucking out stalls there if our horses go in. Um, and I need to get horse treats. Don't let me forget, because we are completely out of horse treats and Finn is acting up about having his back feet done again. He had, didn't do it for the longest time because we worked really hard with him. And so now we're gonna work really hard with him again, but I'm gonna give him some treats when he's good. So I need to get that. But this is what I got at this store. I got these light up necklaces, ornaments, um, because we're gonna dress up our horses and do a photo shoot when we go home. I wanted to get like a big wreath. Have you seen those pictures of horses with big wreaths around them? Um, I got these instead. It's like a big necklace. I got some Santa hats that I'm excited about, but I gotta show you this one thing. I got this Santa hat. I don't know if you guys can guess, who is it for? It's specific for one horse, I'm, even though I'm sure like more of them will wear it, especially the girls, but this is for one specific horse, for our diva horse. Comment below who you think it's for. We still haven't made our way down to the barn to shoot our videos. Every time Kelly tries to come over and shoot videos, we always get so waylaid by all the other stuff. So today we were shopping and they're playing their game. But I have these cookies that I bought at our favorite store. These ones are called Icebox cookies and they're, um, they're good raw. They're good raw. 
oatmeal raisin with oatmeal. Don't eat it. Don't eat it. Don't eat it. Oatmeal. No, you're not getting any. What? You gotta eat them cooked. No. 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 We'll split it with Kaylee. No. Why? No. Why? Gabby, put it back. Why? Because it has to be cooked. No, 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 no. Get your dirty hands off my cookies. So basically, we've all touched the cookies. <gasps> They're contaminated now. Gabby! <laughs> Anyways, um, these are oatmeal. No, these are like a shortbread with cherries, green and red, and walnuts. And they're so good. Do you actually, I hope you like them, Kaylee, because they, I, I'm like one of the only ones who love these cookies. And I'm going to cook them now. Hi, guys. Hi, Stella Belle. Hello, princess. Hello. Hi, Gracie. You guys notice Gracie's always got her butt to them? I don't know if that's like a... A sign of respect, like, don't notice me, I got my butt to you, don't be mean to me. But she's so cute. You'll be so cute! Wait till I dress you up. She's like, you're not dressing me up. Stella's like, what? Dressing up? That's not gonna happen. I got something special for you, little mini. And I also got carrots. Got a whole shopping bag full of stuff. Ooh, it's kinda dark in here. I told the girls to come right now, so hopefully they get down here. I am gonna put, um, divide our horses' grains into morning and night. And so at the new barn, when they feed them, all they have to do is just dump a bag into their buckets and it will be easy for them. So that's what I bought those for. And then I got carrots for my mares. Our supplement spilled in the bottom there to clean this fridge out. Yeah, so I brought my my, um, what is this? Oh, this is Sam's camera. Shoot, I wanted my own camera. Crap, I gotta go back up there and get my camera now. Um, anyway, I'm gonna take pictures and do like a Christmassy kind of photo shoot with the horses and the girls. It's kind of almost dusk, so I'm hoping to get like, to get really good lighting. They, um, hasn't been very long since they were fed lunch, so I know they're not starving. <laughs> but they're looking at me like, is it time? Is it time for food? <laughs> It's not time. It's not time yet, Stell. It's not time yet, Chubby. You're getting chubby again, Grace Willow. That's the problem with Stella. She lets all the babies eat and doesn't eat as much herself. She's such a good mom. So you guys get fatter and fatter and she doesn't. I got this huge bag of treats for um, the, to take to the new barn so that the boys have treats there. Because I don't think we're gonna have uh, fridge to put carrots and stuff in. So this is the gum bit. Somebody was concerned and thought that I was misrepresenting what they're made for. Um, these ones are specifically made to um, encourage submission. So that's what I meant when I said like it makes them calmer. And yeah, that. Apparently the girls are putting on makeup. So I'm gonna get started without them and then they're gonna lose their mind that I started without them. Today, yesterday wrangling cows, today wrangling kids. Look, we also got a new pitchfork. I be loving it. It's a Noble Outfitter fork and Sam has been wanting that. It's expensive though, so he just treated himself to it. Last year I thought about how things can come around just like that if everyone is here to celebrate one day. We have our ups and downs, but when there's love, there's always a way. And oh, this time of year, we come together to Every time the snow is falling down and it is cold outside. 
place that I can come home to Yes, I am on my way If you're a guest at our house, we put you to work. Let's see if she can do it. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.